Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Good day for me. Uh, I was nice here. I got off early, so I did a little shopping. I just went to shoppers and a thrift store uh, and got a couple things. Uh, so this is kind of going to be like a mini haul and first impression video of a couple fragrances. First off, I got a couple more samples. Another Polo 67. Um, and another the mall. Elixir. I got enough of these now. I don't think I'll ever have to open my bottle. Well, I must have 20 or 30 mils worth of these little samples now. Um, but I'll take free samples whenever they give them. Of course I will. Um, well, at the thrift store, I bought this. Uh, a Zero Pour Ohm. Uh, the Aftershave. Uh, didn't need it, of course. But I don't have a a designer, I have a lot of aftershaves, but I really don't have a designer aftershave. But I kind of wanted it, so I got it. It's the newer one, the, just kind of hoping it would have the, the sticker, the white one, but that oh, well, still. Obviously, it's going to be a splash. Yeah, that's his arrow. Oh, yeah, that's his arrow. Just the aftershave. You guys know what it smells like. You don't need me to sit there and tell you. I don't know if I'll ever use it as an aftershave. It was just I don't have it in my collection and really don't have any designer aftershaves in my collection. So it was uh, $15, $20. I can't remember now. It wasn't much. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Yeah. Um... Next, I went to Shoppers, and I picked up uh, just an aftershave gel, uh, Gillette aftershave gel, the cooling gel. Uh, it's a story behind this one, and I'll, I'll get into it. I'm going to go get the whole collection and do a little story I want to talk about. But uh, anyway, besides one. Uh, and I never had this. I love the Nivea for men stuff. Uh, I think it's the best skincare soaps and stuff like that out there, and really good shaving creams, too. An aftershave, so uh, revitalizing body lotion, uh, long lasting moisture and fast of normal skin, vitamin E on scented. Uh, well, it's got that slight Nivea scent, you know what I mean? That clean kind of scent, but um, yeah, I won't use it as a body lotion, I don't need that. I'm oily enough, but I do use a moisturizer, I use it as a moisturizer, but anyway. What you guys have come here for on it, more than likely, because you've seen it in the title, uh, I got two fragrances. Um, Nautica Pure Blue Eau de Toilette Vaspirator. Um, long lasting fragrance. I am a clean fragrance, a vegan formula. This is vegan stuff. The long lasting aromatic marine fragrance. I am clean fragrance, minimalistic and vegan formula. Design features forest. Design features forest stewardship council certified carton. I don't know what that means. Um, all your ingredients and everything are back here. Your batch code punched in. Um, I heard a few good things about this fragrance a few months ago when it first came out. I think it was six or seven months ago. The end of the end of twenty twenty three when it came out. Uh, I heard some good things about it, and, uh, wait a minute. So this happens from time to time when you have as many fragrances as I do. Um, I already had a bottle of it. <laughs> It happens. Anyway, let's uh, give you an impression of it, because I'm sure I already have at one point in time before in the past. Um, it's nice. I remember it now. Yeah, it's, it's citrusy. It's aquatic. It's It's got uh, a nice uh, powdery, slightly sweet vanilla, and if I remember right, it kind of dries down into your basic woody musk fragrance, but that happens from time to time when you get as many as I do. You end up buying a... Well, I guess I got a backup bottle of it. Not that I think I'd ever need one, but... 
I do now. <laughs> so, yeah. So that was kind of a re-first impression, I guess, because I'm sure I've talked about that before. Yeah, not bad scent at all, really. Um, I got YSL Loam Yves Saint Laurent all team. Everybody says this is discontinued, but around here, everywhere's got it still. So. Um, but I looked online, and but people are selling for two, three hundred dollars a bottle. Should I go back and buy the rest of them and sell them online? Sealed bottles. I don't know a damn thing about this one. That's the box and stuff. Like I said, I don't know if shoppers just never got the memo to take them off the shelf years ago, but. Yeah, that's where I put that. Uh, let's find out. Oh, that's light. It's nice, though. Mm. It's light. I, I will say that. It's a light fragrance. Um, definitely ginger and citrus off the top. Very similar to... The original alone. There's something underneath there, though. You do pick up a tiny bit of that cardamom. Um, I imagine that'll come out a little bit stronger later on. And uh, some florals there too. I believe there was rose in this. I don't know if that's rose I'm smelling or there's another floral. No, that's the rose. It's a very soft rose. The whole scent seems soft. But feels like it's going to last on your skin a while. Like, I mean, look how greasy it is. Oily. I don't think it's going to be a projection beast, but I think it's going to be a pretty good in the longevity department. Um, some woods in there too, some cedar. Mostly ginger and citrus off the top, of course. That's what I'm smelling mostly now. Yeah, it's a light fragrance. Uh, ginger, citrus, definitely some cardamom in there. Because they're picking up that tea vibe, spicy tea vibe I get from cardamom sometimes, or most of the time. And you're definitely picking up a little bit of rose and cedar. And I imagine they'll come out later on, too. But I'll have to wear it to find out. But it, oh, now it's... Jesus, it just keeps getting better, actually. And in the air. It's way better in the air. I shouldn't say better like it's bad on my skin. It's just way more evolved in the air, I guess. Yeah. That's actually nice. That's nice. Um... If it is discontinued, I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah. Loam, we've seen the raw team. Very nice. Very nice. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just a quick little haul video and a couple first impressions. I'll wear them at some point and give you guys my review of them. Um, I do like that Nautica. Though, so, it gets better as it goes on. Same as the Eve Saint Laurent. Not that either one of them were bad right off the top. Anyway, guys, that's it. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.